In my review of the Pixel 6a and when I compared it against the Nothing Phone 1, I clearly mentioned how, you know, I wasn't happy with the software bug situation on the phone. The situation is way worse on the Android 12 implementation in Pixel 6a. But I have a few screenshots for you and they're flashing on your screen right now. Just apps overlaying over other apps, random stutters, crashes, everything was happening on this Pixel 6a unit that I have. My experience with the Pixel 6a was not great to begin with and a lot of the problems had to do with the fact that Android 12 was a very buggy software. Although I'd mentioned that Android 13 could come and change things around. Now, when I tweeted about this, a lot of folks said that, you know, the Android 13 beta has fixed a lot of the problems with Android 12, which is of course unreliable. But you know what, I can't really evaluate or review a product based on beta software now, can I? And as expected, Google has dropped the official Android 13 update for eligible Pixel devices and you get it for the Pixel 6a as well. The change log has over 150 performance and software improvements across the board, a lot of which have also solved specific issues that I had faced with the Pixel 6a when I used it with Android 12. For example, Google now has a fix for the issue where the fingerprint icon would overlay over uh, you know, other UI elements on the phone itself. Anyway, my experience of using the Pixel 6a has taken a complete 180 degree turn right now. It is a much more refined user experience on the phone. Well, if you don't know me yet, I'm Ershad. You're watching Jack and Tech English. Let's find out what's new and what's improved on the Pixel 6a with Android 13. Now, before talking about all the fixes on the phone itself, evidently with Android 13, uh, you know, Google is not making too many changes with respect to the visual elements or, you know, adding too many features, but fixing a lot of problems that Android 12 brought along with it. Regardless, here are a few new features in Android 13, which I think are worth highlighting for sure. Firstly, the visual changes include a thicker, more prominent taskbar. You get media controls for any player in the notification shade and the lock screen, and it looks really attractive and gives you a clear idea of what's playing with a nice display of the album artwork as well. With Material U, you now get more than four options for the color picker. It's actually, uh, you know, quadrupled right now. And apart from that, you also get themed icons wherein supported app icons will change the color and the look of the icon in accordance with the colors picked by the software itself. Now, talking about visual changes, you can do one as well. Hit that red subscribe button to turn it gray if you like the kind of videos that we make. And if you like the kind of content that we make, and if you feel that more people should watch this video, then, you know, you can also hit the like button and maybe even comment below only if you want to so that you know the algorithm can serve this to more people uh, you know looking out for the update video of pixel 6a with android 13. There's also this new clipboard overlay which looks similar to the screenshot one and there are these contextual buttons like share you know which pops up whenever you take a you know copy text or copy any image. You can now add a QR code scanner tile to the notification shade which is pretty handy I must say. And now the apps that you download will have to explicitly ask for your permission before it can send notifications to you. It doesn't send notifications by default, which is a very good privacy feature. You also have app specific language switches now, which means that whenever you open a specific app, which supports this feature, you can have that app running in a regional language of your choice. For example, whenever you're clicking on the icon and opening an app like YouTube, you can have it set to, uh, you know, showcase all of the UI elements in say, for example, Hindi, Tamil, Bengali, whatever language that you prefer. Now, the final feature is definitely a disappointing one for long time Android fans. Your favorite file manager or any file manager of choice will not showcase OBB files. What that means is that if you're downloading the APK, which is basically the stub, and if you all of the data and information which is present in the OBB folder, that won't be accessible to you. A lot of people used to do that for side loading like big games. So that's not gonna be possible anymore, which is definitely a big letdown for a long time, you know, Android fan. With the features out of the way, let's see how Android 13 actually fixes all of the problems on the Pixel 6a. So the first problem that the new Android 13 update it solves, well, it doesn't solve entirely, but definitely makes it better is the fact that the Pixel 6a uh, with Google Tensor chip doesn't throttle as much anymore. Now, while our CPU throttle scores are nearly identical pre and post update, it is the 3D Mark Wildlife stress test score that sort of is very heartening to see. Now, what I noticed is that the stability score has definitely increased now, but moreover, the phone doesn't get as hot as it did before. And this despite the fact that the starting temperature while running the 3D Mark Wireless stress test was higher when we were actually testing it with Android 13. 
And apart from this, I actually shot a 4K 60 FPS video for 20 minutes straight and the app didn't throw any notification saying that the phone needs to cool down and you know asking us to quit the app. That problem doesn't exist anymore on the Google Pixel 6a with Android 13. The update also seems to have improved the battery performance of the phone. I got very little idle drain now so that's definitely a good thing and you can expect close to one and a half days of uh, you know battery life from the phone on moderate usage for sure which is definitely a good thing. And that's not it. All the stutters and issues that I faced with app performance, all of those problems don't seem to exist anymore. Especially with Twitter where there was, you know, the scrolling issue on 60 hertz and, you know, it would stutter a lot. It's extremely smooth right now. Google has definitely improved performance by leaps and bounds with the Android 13 update. Now about that fingerprint reader's performance, it hasn't improved. It's still kind of slow and clunky for me, but it is definitely secure because uh, it doesn't unlock with any fingerprint that's not registered. It only unlocks with mine, so that's definitely a good thing. Most importantly though, all of those software bugs that I was facing with respect to, you know, overlay of text, crashing of apps, all of those things are not happening anymore on Android 13. This update seems like, you know, Google's idea of improving all the problems that existed with the Android 12. 12, uh, you know, introduction because Android 12 was a complete overhaul with respect to visual, uh, you know, look of the phone itself. Whereas Android 13 is a refinement of that visual overhaul. So my opinion of the Pixel 6a has changed drastically after the update. Now, it is definitely a much better phone, one that throttles less, offers better performance, has far fewer software bugs and offers better battery life too. More importantly, it forces reviewers like myself to go back and revisit a phone after an update because sometimes these updates can improve performance like it did on the Pixel 6a or completely cripple it like it did on the Nothing Phone 1. By the way, if you haven't watched that video yet, a link should pop up right now, you should go check that out. Now, if you're planning on buying the Pixel 6a, go ahead and do that. It's still pretty expensive, but at least you get great software experience and a great camera experience as well. And the performance is pretty decent too. And if you already have the Pixel 6a, go ahead and get that Android 13 update. It's going to change your experience of using the phone completely. So that's it from me. I hope you guys like this video. Until next time, this is Ashwat signing off. Keep tracking and stay safe.